Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So in the last video, we installed HTTP server module. We created the basic project structure. And in this video guys, we will create the actual login form. So in our admin panel, first we will see a login form. We will enter the credential. If it matches, then we can enter into the admin area. And from there, we can upload images and manage categories. So this is what we have to do. So for this, the first step is designing the login form. Okay, so this was the index.html that we created in the last video. Now in this file, we will create our login form. So first I will delete this thing that we written in the last video, wallpaper app admin. So let's delete it and we will create our login form here. Okay, so guys, we are going to use bootstrap framework for designing our front end and it is very easy to work with bootstrap framework we are going to use bootstrap 4 we just need to use some predefined css classes and we can design nice looking web pages and our requirement now is to design our login form inside this index.html file so let's do it but before designing the form I will start my web server and to do this simply open command prompt inside your project directory and run the command http hyphen server okay the web server is running now first let's change the background color of our body so to do this I will use a bootstrap class and we call it bg dark okay now let's open our URL which is this you see the background color has changed now inside this page we will design our login form so come back here and start writing some HTML code okay so first we will create a dev okay and we will use the bootstrap card so we have the card and inside this card we will create another div and it is the body of our card now all these classes are predefined in bootstrap framework I'm just using okay now inside the body I will write an h1 wallpaper app admin okay then we will create a form okay so let's create a form give it an id login form okay so we have our login form now inside this login form we will define two input fields the first one is for email and the second one is for password okay so for the input fields we again need to use dev and the class will be form hyphen group okay inside this div we will define a label and label is for email okay then we have an input field input type email the user need to input email then id is email okay that's it and one more thing is missing which is the bootstrap class for the input field which is form hyphen control okay now what this for attribute does okay when you will click on this label then it will focus on this input and this is because of this for attribute this label is for email so it is connected with the id okay for email and the id of the input field is email let me show you click on this email and you see we got the focus on the input field now let's define another field for password okay so we will copy this thing just copy it and paste now this is for password 
so we will change the for to password type as password id as password okay so we have two fields let's see okay we have email and we have oops we need to change the label text as well this is for password okay so we have email and password now we need a login button to login okay so again we will click we will create dev class form hyphen group and inside this dev we will create our button okay so let's create a button of type button then we will put the class btn btn hyphen primary this is the bootstrap class for button and inside the button we will write login okay so this is the very simple html code and it will design our form okay now the form is not looking very nice so we will apply some our some of our own css okay and we will uh, change the width of this div and we will make it on the center of the screen so let's do it so what we will do is we will create one more css file and it is for our custom styles so let's link one more css here so what we do we write link rel equals to style sheet and href to the path of our css file and this is how we link a css file so we also need to create a css file and we already created the folder for storing css so here we will create a new file and let's name it style.css okay and then here we will define the file is inside css folder and we have style.css so this is the path of our css file which is inside css folder css slash and then the file name style.css okay now inside this file we will write some codes but before writing css let's give an id to this card so we, we can give the id login card okay and we can define the css for this login card okay so let's change the width to 450 pixels and margin to 0 auto which means 0 to top bottom and auto to left right let's see what happens you see we have our card in the center of the screen now we can give some top bottom margin as well so let's make it 150 pixels you see our login form is in the center of the screen okay now what we need to do is we need to attach a click listener on this login button okay so come back to index.html and then first we will assign an id to this login button okay so let's give the button an id the button is btn hyphen login you can give any id that you want okay so we have an id for this button login now inside the js file we will create a new file and let's name it app.js okay and we will link this file to this page so let's define the script here script src app.js and the app.js is inside the js folder so we have to write js slash app.js okay so this file is here as well now okay now inside this file we will attach the click listener so come to this file and here we will write some jquery so first we write the selector which is dollar and then we need to select the login button so we have given an id so we can write here hash and then the id then dot then click and then parenthesis inside the click function we can pass another function that will be executed when we click on the button 
so for now just print an alert message you click okay very simple now let's try click on this button you see we got the message you click okay so that's it for this video guys we just designed the login form in this video and in the next video we will implement the firebase authentication to this form and we will create one more page for the admin area i hope you found this video helpful if you did please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends who want to learn app development and also if you are having any confusions and if you have any question please leave that on the comment below okay thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye